the screen capture and JPEG method. Here's my CAD file that I want to bring into PowerPoint. I'm going to be using a tool that comes with uh, Vista and Windows 7. It's called the Snipping Tool. And if I go to All Programs, Accessories, and click on Snipping Tool, This is the tool that comes up. Now right away it wants me to snip something. So I'm going to select uh, rectangular snip. And the screen is kind of grayed out because it's going to actually go darker to indicate what I want to snip. So I can select that area. Press the copy button here. Go to my PowerPoint file. And then I can paste that in there. As you can see, uh, it's basically a screen capture of what you had in AutoCAD. Not a lot of detail for people that are trying to view it, uh, but we can make a different version of that. So let's go back to our CAD file. And this time, I'm going to go to the plot preview. So go to plot. Uh, going to make sure that my sheet size is pretty close to the actual sheet of the title block I'm using. I'm using a monochrome CTB because that'll be fairly accurate to doing a pen plot. Extents, fit to paper, and click preview. Now what I can do here is I can actually zoom in on the area that I want to highlight in my slide. You can do the whole sheet if you want, but again, depending on uh, the detail of your drawing, sometimes it's better to actually exclude portions of the, of the, of the plots. So I want to concentrate on something like this. It's the intersection here. Go back to the snipping tool. Click New. And uh, I basically highlight the area that I want to capture. So maybe I'll include that. Again, press Copy. Go back to my PowerPoint file. I click Paste. And there's my JPEGs. Very quick way to bring in a, uh, a file or a screen capture into PowerPoint. I make a new slide. And we're going to do one other method, which um, takes a little bit more, but you'll see it. Uh, same sort of thing. We're going to plot now, but I'm going to actually look for different plotter options here. You're not going to have everything listed here, but you should have Publish to Web JPEG. And it's actually saying you want to use default size or custom sheet size. Use the default. should be good enough. Again, I'm saying extents, fit to paper, on a chrome. I'm going to say scale line weights. Do a preview, see what it looks like. Oh, not very good. There we go. Okay, so I can uh, right click and say plot. It's actually going to make a JPEG of this file. So I'm going to put that under my AutoCAD stuff, existing conditions plan, save. Now that's made the JPEG. I can go to my PowerPoint, go to Insert, Picture, look for the uh, document that I'm working on, insert the file. And that's another method for bringing in AutoCAD drawings into PowerPoint, the DWF Insert. Here's my file again. We're going to go plot. And as you can see, one of the plotter, printer plotter options I have is called DWF6 ePlot. Again, I'm selecting a sheet size to match my title block. 
setting it to extents, fit to paper, and I'm using the monochrome CTV, which is controlling what it looks like. This is basically going to be a black and white output. Uh, you can use different ones, or if you want ca color, you can select the ACAD CTV. I'll just give you a preview of what the difference is. So there's the color one, which is a little bit hard to see on a white background. But maybe you want some color anyway. I'm going to be selecting the monochrome. And I'm going to do a preview of this. That's pretty close to what I want. And I'm going to plot that file. And I'm going to put that under my documents AutoCAD DWF. Now I'll go to my PowerPoint file. There's my JPEG one that I did earlier. Make a new slide. Delete these things out of here. Insert. Now this time, what I want to do is I'm not going to insert a picture. I'm going to insert an object. And it's giving me options right here. I want to say I want to create it from file. And I'm going to browse to that file. And I'm selecting the DWF file. As you can see, right, JPEG and the DWF are pretty close in size right now. But the DWF has a nice big advantage that we'll see soon. Uh, I don't want to display as icon. And I'm going to click OK. Now the first method with the JPEG is good if you want to share the file because the JPEG file gets inserted into PowerPoint. The DWF method means you want to still run the presentation on the program or the machine that has AutoCAD. And the reason for that is, is that it'll need the DWF viewer to view this file. If you were to give this presentation file to somebody else and they didn't have AutoCAD or the DWF viewer installed on their machine, they wouldn't see anything. So for simplicity, the JPEG one is pretty good. But the DWF one is better for quality. And I'll show you why. Because right now, here's my DWF. There's the JPEG. They look pretty much the same. But the DWF gives me one option is that I can right click on it, go to my open. It activates the file within PowerPoint. And now I can treat it almost like a drawing file. I get a, a bar up here where I can adjust zoom levels. I can pan around. I can go back to the initial view. I can zoom windows. And as you see, the quality of the image is still there. If I was to do this with the JPEG, you'd see just a bunch of blobs. So this is kind of nice if you need to tweak what you're displaying on a screen. And then I click outside of it, double click, and it'll actually keep that last setting that I used. So that's how to insert a DWF file into AutoCAD.